Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over how to upload customized uh, projections to Sabersim. I got this uh, question in the Discord uh, the other day, and uh, my fault, and I, I really thought that uh, there were plenty of videos on this that were pretty easily to access, but in, in general, uh, I guess I, I think I need to do a better job of, of putting kind of FAQ you know, type questions like this um, in in at the head of the site, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna to use today's uh, NBA slate as an example. And the question does uh, uh, necessitate a little bit of, of nuance because it depends on how you're actually getting to Saberson, although it's not exactly different. So the view you're looking at now is the view you'd be getting if you subscribed to Saberson through uh, TrueDFS. So you, you know, you have the true DFS bar here, and then it gets the Sabersim, you know, uh, interface underneath. Uh, here is what it would look like, um, whatchamacallit, uh, if you were just, um, uh, just have a, let's see, if you were just a, a regular Sabersim subscriber. And I'm, I'm going to show you how to do it from both, but it's it's pretty much the same. So first of all, Going back to TrueDFS, it's worth mentioning that when the projections update for the TrueDFS projections, that will automatically kind of go into this My Projection tab here, but you could kind of change that. Um, once it comes up, you'll be able to see like different, different, um, different choices of what to put in My Projection, and we'll, we'll get to that um, uh, you see right here, it says it's shaded. TrueDFS has not released its projections or ownership yet, but when it does, um, you'll be able to use that. You'll be able to suggest, you know, use the average or whatever. And you could also upload your customized projections as well. Um, and we'll get back to how to do that. Um, the, the regular Saber Sim interface doesn't have the TrueDFS columns. Everything else is pretty much the same. So we'll talk about, the, it's the process of the same for uploading from each site. So. Let's say that you wanted to upload your own projections from the NBA. Now, first of all, you could always go and manually change each individual one here, but that's not particularly useful, right? So what you would do is you would hit upload, and then it has this kind of table here. Now, what you have to do is you do have to, to, to paste your results from somewhere. You know, like if you want to put your own projections up, you have to have them saved in some kind of file um, like to give you an example, uh, like mine, like I have my own projections and I have them saved and I'll show you in a sheet that looks like this, where it has name, fantasy points and ownership. Um, so like from here, I could either just cut and paste these columns into these columns right here, or you can just upload the whole CSV. So what I'll do is upload, let's find that file here. And you'll see it automatically uploads the name, projection, and the ownership. And you just hit save. And then you'll see that it replaced, well, didn't replace it, created a column for my projections that are now different from the Saberson projections. You create an ownership column that's different from the Sabersim ownership. Um, so that's how you upload your own file to, to Sabersim. Um, the other thing that we try to do is to make it a little easier. Let me just see if this is updated yet with today's projections to show you what this looks like. Mm, maybe it hasn't yet. No, but it, it will eventually. Um, but another thing that you can do from TrueDFS, if you're not a Sabersim subscriber, is what I've done from the projections tab is create these kind of files for you to use to upload to Sabersim. Like, for example, you go into NBA projections, and once my projections are up there, Like you'll see, what I've created here are um, 
is a CSV file that you can use to be customized file to upload to Saberson. Like you just hit CSV, boom, right? And this file, I'll show you what it looks like. It has all these things from the table. And so then what you can do is again, you go into Sabersim, upload, upload CSV, and you go to that file that you got right from TrueDFS, and it fills all that stuff in for you. And you'll notice it's the same because uh, uh, we're using my customized projections anyway. I hope that's uh, I hope that's not too simple or too difficult, but the key is to just have access to something to upload, right? And whether you create one on your own or you manually input them or you use the template that we provide at TrueDFS, it's a pretty easy process. Uh, that'll do it.